In this video, we're going to set up Songbook Pro groups for the first time. I'm at songbook-pro.com right now, and I'm going to press the Groups button to get to Songbook Pro groups. From this dashboard, if I don't already have an account, I can sign up, or if I do, I can sign in. The first time you use Songbook Pro Groups, you see this screen asking us to create a new organization. An organization is a group of users who all share their songs and sets together. Settings such as permissions and billing are also handled per organization. So let's make an organization. First, we have to choose a name for our organization. I'm making an organization for my band, Barry and the Country Bumpkins. So I'll put that name in, then press the next button. The next step asks us to pick a plan for our organization. The plan we're on determines how many users can join our organization. There's band for six users, ensemble for 12 users, and orchestra for 20 users. And if we need more than 20 users, then we can add 10 extra, or another 10, or 10 more, or as many as you need. There are only four of us in my band, Barry and the Country Bumpkins, so the band plan with up to six users sounds just fine for us, though we can upgrade later if our band grows. Every plan starts with a 21-day free trial, so we won't have to put in any payment details until the free trial ends. I'm in the UK, so all the prices shown here are in British pounds, but if you need to see the prices in a different currency, you can change them via the drop-down menu. Now let's select Band and press the Next button to continue. Finally, we have the option to invite more users to our organization. Up the top you can see me, Barry. Under Permissions it says Admin. This means I can invite new users, remove them, or change their permissions. I'm going to invite my bandmates Harry and Carrie by writing their emails in. I'm going to make them both editors. This means they can edit our songs and sets and add new ones, but they can't invite or remove users or delete the organization. I'll click Create to finish. Oh no, I've forgotten to add Larry, the last member of Barry and the Country Bumpkins. Don't worry, after we've created an organization, we can go back and invite more users from the organization settings here. There's the list of users, and we can press the Invite User button at the bottom. Now, Larry often gets confused and deletes things by accident, so I'm going to set him as Read Only. This means he can see all of our songs and sets, but he can't delete, create, or change them. Now I'm all ready to start using Songbook Pro Groups with my band. That's all for now, but to find out how to join an organization as a user and link up with the Songbook Pro app, check out our other tutorial here. Hopefully this tutorial has been helpful for you. For more information, see our other tutorials and view the online manual at songbook-pro.com under Docs, then Groups.